So hey guys, Nickelodeon here again, and in this one we're going to be looking at the evidence and support for Tails getting into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Before I start that, really weird, I just thanked you guys for 400 subs like two days ago, and now I'll be thanking you for 500. Thank you guys so much for viewing this content as worthy of your time. It really means a lot that you enjoy the content that's coming out of this channel, and it's just completely surprised me. Thank you guys so much for that. But on to the topic at hand. Tails started off, as we know, on the Sega Genesis as the Player 2 option for the Sonic the Hedgehog games. You know, Tails was the character you would give to your younger sibling who was bugging you about playing the game with you. Well, time's passed since then, and Tails has grown up and kind of developed into his own character. Got his own personality, got everything going for him there. So Tails is actually the number two character that I wanted in Smash Ultimate, which is why I was so surprised whenever I realized that I had not done a video on him yet. Of course, the first place I like to go to on these is fan support. Tails definitely has it, without a doubt. Now, I have seen a little bit of infighting going on between Shadow and Tails fans about, you know, which one should get in, because odds are there's only going to be one more Sonic rep put in as far as being a fighter. Now, of course, that's not set in stone, just theory. But for the most part, yeah, Tails and Shadow fans have been getting along. And that whole thing's weird for me anyway, because Tails is my number two, Shadow is my number four. They're both in my top five, and I would absolutely love if either one of them got in. So yes, fan support, definitely there. As far as the official voting for the Smash Ballot, of course, we didn't get the official results for that. Nintendo's kind of kept that under lock and key. But when it comes to, like, a lot of the exit polls and stuff that you can find around, I know most of those are probably fake to try to push somebody's character that they want. But there are some of those where people actually did perform exit polls in order to get knowledge of the people that actually voted, and people did participate in those. As far as those go, Tails has performed fair. I wouldn't say he's performed top tier, but he's performed fair. And here we go to the number two thing that I normally look at, which is what I call leak representation. So how many leaks the character's been in, how frequent are they in the leaks? Tails kind of, you know, he's iffy in those too. I've seen Tails in a few. I'm not gonna say I've seen him in a lot, but I'm also not gonna say I haven't seen him in many. I've seen him floating around in leaks, but for the most part, you know, leaks shouldn't be taken as gospel. And of course, most of them aren't. The only reason that I use leak representation, as you know, is just to simply look at how much hype there is for that character to the point where a fake leaker who some may not even know anything about the game could just throw characters in that they see floating around. So of course, Tails doesn't show up as frequently as heavy hitters like Banjo, Gino, and Isaac, but Tails is in some of them. Now when it comes to the evidence of this, sadly enough, not a lot of hard direct evidence for Tails. As you know, the type of evidence I look for includes hard direct evidence, circumstantial evidence, and I guess we could technically call it anecdotal, which I guess, since I'm creating categories, would include fan support. But let's go on into a little bit of this evidence. First off, you just need to look at the simple idea of which third party series would be the most likely to get another rep put in, in addition to what they already have. So the Sonic series has seniority, without a doubt, being, I believe, the only third party series to have appeared in three Smash games in a row. So with that being brought up, that's pretty important. And looking at the topic of seniority again, as far as the characters within the Sonic series, Tails would definitely have more seniority than any other of the hero characters. Tails has been there since early in the series. Tails has put in his time. Tails would make it a very interesting fighter. And it would be kind of easy to implement Tails. Tails, most people seem to believe Tails is going to be kind of an Echo fighter, not an exact Echo, obviously, since his recovery would be flying with his tail. And of course, his speed would have to be toned down a bit from Sonic, but when it comes to his overall special moves and all that, of course, he would have his own. Final Smash is gonna have to be involving a mech because, you know, Tails has gotta use that brain as well. You've also gotta look at the fact that Tails did have a costume in Smash 4 that you could put on your Mii Fighter. Oh, but so did Knuckles. Correct, Knuckles did. Knuckles ended up as an assist trophy. However, to this point, we have not seen Tails as an assist trophy. There is the issue, however, of Tails being in the background of the Green Hill Zone which Knuckles is also seen in the background of the Green Hill Zone, I believe, and he showed up as an assist trophy. Now, I know there's a difference in that situation as far as the dual character usage as a background character and as an assist trophy. There's a huge difference in that and a character being a background character and a fighter. There's also the Rathalos, which is an assist trophy and a boss, 
So having a dual role is a thing. However, we have not seen to this point if there is going to be any possibility of there being a dual role character that can be dual in the background and as a playable fighter. But in the long run, I absolutely hope Tails gets in. As I said, he is my number two character that I would love to see in this game. Tails has been one of my favorite video game characters since I was a little kid. I really, really would love to see him in. And again, guys, as I've said before, the character evidence series is winding down. We're getting toward the bottom of the list. These videos are going to have less information as far as hard evidence and anything directly pointing them to be in the game. While it may not look like it with the little bit of evidence that's coming through here, I do put a very solid amount of like research and information into this and I want to thank you guys so much for enjoying it. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. If you want to follow along as we make our way towards Smash Ultimate, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for viewing this content as worthy of your time, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.